Mr. Chairman, members, uh, my name is Bill Alloway. I'm here today on behalf of uh, Texas Impact uh, on this bill uh, to discuss the same small part of the bill that most people have been talking to you about today. Uh, the gentleman is passing out a, a study that I was asked to do for them uh, earlier in the year when they were concerned about what was going to happen with the Medicaid program. And basically what I would like to ask that you to do is to consider this bill in the context of the other decisions that you're going to be making this session, particularly in your role as appropriators, because a good part of the decisions that you make as appropriators will have local property tax impacts. You're all well aware that uh, almost $9 billion a year of uncompensated non-charity care is provided by local hospital districts across the, or hospitals across the state much of which is supported by the Medicaid program. Uh, when we did the estimates uh, about what would happen if the waiver went away, uh, the estimates were extremely dire. <clears throat> 91 out of 147 hospital districts in the state would have exceeded the rollback, the 8% rollback election uh, threshold uh, in order to replace the, prop the lost federal funds if, if the rate were 4%, an additional eight per, uh, hospital districts would be added to that. 54 counties provide direct uh, support for uh, the uncompensated care uh, of Texas citizens, and 25 of them would have exceeded the 8% rollback rate. An additional six would go over 4%. Uh, basically, Senators, uh, I registered on the bill because I believe it's you're well within your rights to tell local right. governments uh, the rules by which to operate. Thank you very much for your testimony. 